What is the Skinner Blend Technique? The Skinner Blend Technique is a technique that allows you to create gradated colors in polymer clay. This innovative method was created by Judith Skinner who used mathematical theory to significantly reduce the amount of time it takes to create gradients. Before her technique was introduced to the polymer clay world, it would take hours or days in order to mimic a graded look. But with this method, gradients with polymer clay will only take a couple of minutes. A pasta machine makes this go much faster, but of course you can also do this with an acrylic roller or brayer, though it would take a little bit longer. First, I'm going to show you how to create a two and three color gradient, then how to limit the width of your gradient sheet, and then talk about the different things that you can do with it. One important tip is to use enough clay. For testing out this technique, you can start small. Cut out a 2.5 by 1.75 inch template out of cardstock. I wouldn't go much smaller than that, otherwise it gets difficult when the clay gets shorter and shorter each time you fold it. Alternatively, a standard 3 by 5 inch index card can also be used as a template, though it will create a bigger finished sheet. Next, choose your colors. Test how those colors look when blended to see if you like the way it looks. Even with the understanding of color theory, colors of clay blended together sometimes reduce unexpected results such as looking duller or muddy once mixed. If you are pleased with the way it looks, condition and run your selected colors of clay through the largest setting of your pasta machine and cut out a rectangle from each color using the template you created earlier. Let's go over the two color Skinner blend template. To do a two color blend, you wanna use a tissue blade to cut diagonally across each sheet to create two right triangles. If cutting corner to corner, you can get a more subtle end result. However, I usually prefer to offset it by half an inch or so for a more dramatic effect. This will leave some of each original color at the end of each completed blend. Next, stack the same color triangles one over the other. This step can actually be skipped if you are just testing out the technique and want to save your clay. Next, put the triangular pieces together to form the original rectangle shape. Whether you are using double thick triangles or one layer triangles, the effect will be the same, just depends on how much clay you want to use. Now let's go over the three color Skinner blend template. To do a three color gradient, the steps are very similar to the two color. You would make a template of two right triangles at the sides, but there would be an additional triangle in the middle for every new color you want to add. Then using your template, cut each shape out of the clay. Then assemble them into a rectangle. If you like, you can adjust the size of the triangles on the template to customize the color portions. You don't have to do it exactly how I've done it. Whether you're doing two color, three color, or more, they all go through the same folding process I cover in the next section. The next step would be to fold your sheets and insert them into the pasta machine multiple times until the color blends smoothly. Take your two color or three color sheet, fold the sheet in half and feed it through the largest setting of your pasta machine. Make sure the side edges after folding are identical in color. So on one side edge, mauve should be touching mauve only, and on the other side, yellow should be touching yellow only. One side should be one color and the other side should be the other color. However, across the length of the roller, you may have multiple colors. Let's talk about constraining the width of your gradient sheet. After rolling your sheet of clay through, fold it again and push the sides in because the sheet will get wider but shorter, making it difficult to fold later on. This prevents it from getting too wide. You can also place width limiters on your pasta machine to help prevent the clay from getting too wide. If you don't have a width limiter, you can use a block of packaged clay. You want to pass it through multiple times until the gradient effect looks smooth. This can range from 10 to 30 passes. The higher of the contrast of colors, the more passes it will take. In the beginning, the sheet will look weird, but keep going. It will eventually work out. Eventually, the colors will start to actualize and you will want to keep an eye on it so that the colors align as you fold it. Mauve should align with mauve and coral should align with coral and so on. Now that you have your newly created sheet, what do you do with it? 
After you've created your sheet, you can create beautiful backgrounds in your work, whether it's in jewelry making, home decor, journal covers, wrapping around bakeable vessels, or other accessory making projects. You can create even larger sheets by either backing them with thicker layers of white clay or connect multiple sheets together at 45 degree angles. Additionally, you can apply many various surface techniques like adding texture using quartz sand paper or using rubber textured plates. Also, you can use your gradient sheets and other polymer clay techniques such as caning, gradient lobes, and ribbons. I'll go over these different types of techniques in future videos and link them in the description once those are ready. Thank you for watching till the very end, stay tuned for future videos, and good luck with your next project!